as we cross the diaphragm, this now becomes the abdominal aorta. The first structure that you see here that you're responsible for is this little notch here. Okay. Now, this is the superior mesenteric artery, the superior mesenteric artery. Um, the superior mesenteric artery is going to give oxygenated blood to the small intestines. Gives oxygenated blood to the small intestines. Right here. <clears throat> As we go down a little bit further, you'll see there's another notch here. This is the inferior mesenteric artery. And the inferior mesenteric artery is going to be um, going to give oxygenated blood to the colon or the large intestine. Now we also have our kidneys here. So these are our kidneys. And we have arteries and veins which go to and from the kidneys. And these are the renal arteries and renal veins. Okay, so these are in red, we've got the renal arteries. Blue, we have the renal veins. In this uh, long thing in blue here, this is actually the inferior vena cava, the inferior vena cava. All right, so let's just look real quickly at the, uh, the pathway uh, to and from the kidneys, because that's a nice, simple one. So let's do the arterial pathway to the kidneys. This would be um, oxygenated blood coming from the heart to the ascending aorta through the aortic arch, through the thoracic aorta, through the abdominal aorta through the renal arteries and into the kidneys. Now deoxygenated blood from the kidneys will return to the heart by going from the kidneys through the right and left renal veins to the inferior vena cava into the right atrium of the heart. <laughs>